over to the last and the fourth theory of public relations, which is the diffusion of innovation theory, stated by Evert Rogers in the year 1962. So, Evert Rogers in the year 1962 propounded this theory of diffusion of innovation which uh, basically asked as to how an innovation, how something which is completely new uh, get accepted or adopted by uh, the people or by the market by and large. So for which he categorized it in two main parameters. Firstly, he said that it follows a five-stage uh, method or a process and it's eventually adopted and the users or the groups are also formed in a five stage parameter that will make your product or your innovation uh, accepted or adopted by these users. So first we'll understand what are these five stages or what are these five steps. Um, I'm sure all of you all must be aware about the concept of IDA that speaks for attention, interest, desire and action. Tweaking this a little bit, what Mr. Edward Rogers has said that Basically, uh, these five steps are awareness, that is the knowledge aspect, what is it that people are aware of. First, we take the steps and then I'll explain it to you all in detail. So, the first step is the awareness step. Then we move to understanding and, or uh, having a sort of interest in it. Then the third step is the deciding factor. And after decision, the fourth step is getting in the implementation aspect of it, that's the trial aspect and then the last one is the adoption, okay. So the, 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 the acronym that we can form from it is AIDIA, -I -E okay. So the very first stage is awareness, that is the knowledge. Let's say you are a blogger, okay, you have writing skills. So you start writing on some sort of a social media, or let's just say Instagram as one example. Okay, so you start posting your blogs on Instagram, you write captions, uh, you write it in the form of captions and you let it out for the general public. So very first thing is that you are going to make people aware by sending them follow requests, right? You are going to follow them on their media so that they will in turn come down, check your page and see if second page it interests them. Are they finding a connection? with what you are writing, are they liking your writing as a very first parameter. So once you followed them, you've given them a nudge, you've made them aware that hello, I am there, I am I am, I am following you uh, or probably I'm commenting on your post, come down see my post. They will come down to see if your posts are giving them any sort of interest. When they read your first post, when they read your second post, they are in the decision mode, alright, whether can he or she follow you back or no. So in the decision stage. Then comes the third stage. He read your post, he connected with it and he said that okay this person also followed me. So let's give him a push. Somebody from my own uh, constituency or somebody from my for my field some who is who's like a budding writer so let me give him a push. He or she starts following you back. That's the implementation stage. Then comes the last stage that is the adoption when he also starts you know commenting on your post or giving inputs about your post that means that he is accepted he is adopted that okay you are his uh, in the same field that he is you both are doing a good job in terms of writing similar posts or your frequencies match and your, you can be a prospective blogger as well and then he starts recommending it to the other people that okay he has written a good work or probably on his story or in one of his comments he gives you a shout out or she gives you a shout out so what is happening is you've you you nudged them you've given them you made them aware you desired them interest in them you made them decide to follow you you've given them the implementation phase where they have followed you back and then the adoption stage where they've accepted that you also are one of the bloggers along the same lines and you all can have a longer nap. So these are the five stages that ideally an innovation is also accepted. So from having just one follower to five to ten followers, then you have thousand plus followers, ten thousand followers. So 
eventually people are going to follow you or going to like you or most are going to accept your idea all right in the second stage if in the interest stage the person doesn't connect with your code he will or she will not go to the remaining stages the connection breaks there and you will have to start all over new again with somebody else by nudging them by making them aware that you exist in the market so from public relations point of view they have to understand that if this particular innovation needs to hit with the market we need to make them aware we need to make them knowledgeable that hello we are here come take our product so what is the acronym attention interest decision implementation and last but not the least the adoption parameter now he also went forward to say that there are five categories of users basically starting with the innovators the ones who are innovating let's again take the example of the blogging category you are a blogger you've just started venturing out on wordpress and you've written a few number of posts first before making people aware that you are there so you are the innovator you've come up with your own idea okay then you start sending links of your post to people who follow in the second category which is known as the early adopters okay now what are these early adopters these early adopters are the ones who accept you before even actually reading your post so say maybe your friends your family members or uh, acquaintances who give you a push up they read your articles they start reading articles that are hi hi my friend ne likha na chalo hum let's let's read let's read they follow and then they understand that you kya likha hai super they just love your idea so they go and tell the early majority means they go and tell their friends or they share your posts on facebook or on any other social media handles that uh, they have and they let people know that ali ya pata bahut acha likhta hai okay so other cases it could be word of mouth and here it's a physically that they are forwarding your post so comes the third category of early uh, majority or majority then comes so you in 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 a process of say 6 months or probably in a process of, uh, in a year you may have 1000 or 10000 subscribers who follow in the category of your early majority they have faith in you these 1000 subscribers that you have on on your instagram they they love your content and they want to refer it and they want to take screenshots of it and they want to publish it every then comes the fourth parameter who are late majority who realize that ye banda to bahut hi acha sa kaam kar raha hai iske post share ho rahe hai chalo they do not know you directly but because the second and third people that is your early uh, adopters and early majority they have given a positive word of mouth everywhere you book you can see their posters banners uh, i mean in terms of your social media handles and you realize that yaar isko follow karna padega bahut acha article likhta hai yaar bahut hi acha bolta hai and they are the late majority so they are the fourth kind of your or the fourth group or the fourth user or the fourth person who accepts your innovation last but not the least and the legards now what are these legards the spelling is l a g g a r d s legards basically are those people who have to be pushed ke bhai jao inko follow karo ye bahut hi acha content dete hain okay um somewhere on the line we can also connect this with the recent case of sushant singh rajput yeah so in a way the person was a very talented guy his early adopters were probably small budgeted uh, directors uh, who realized that he really has a potential try to work with him then there was an early majority who gave him the opportunity to work in films or on larger banners so that's how probably we can say that he got ms dhoni as a movie then came in the late majority when probably after this uh, sad demise people realized that he had a lot of potential and uh, people just started following him on all the social media handles and they realized that he had so much of talent he had so much of brains uh, if you go to see his instagram posts or if you go to see his tweets all things were very intellectual in nature and eventually it's the lagards legards who 
didn't do anything about Sushan, but after everything happened and when everybody in the world started following him, that's when even they started following the person. So, not the right example in a way, but to understand that there are the five kind of users, we can use this particular example. May uh, his soul rest in eternal peace and justice be prevailed, but then that's how we can understand a concept in a much better way. So, these are the four theories of public relations and let's understand as to why we need to understand these theories once more.